Hey guys, it's day five. Moose here. It is I still going hard in the gym till my muscles cry. Yeah. Uh, muscle soreness got me walking funny, but I'm alright. Today, I got inspired when I met myself, a familiar guy at the gym. Gave me an idea, helped me realize what I'm gonna do for my vid idea. <laughs> I don't know. It didn't work at that. But yo, welcome back. Smooth here, Uncle Moose, Math Smooth, whatever you want to call me, right? Um, today, I'm going to be talking about, you know, maintaining connections. So, like, this isn't this isn't universal advice, so this isn't for everybody. Obviously, you got to, like, use your own judgment, defer to your own judgment in all, all scenarios that I'm about to mention. I'll kind of, like, mention it too while we're going on, you know? So, you know, this is, this comes from personal, this comes from personal experiences, so don't, so don't take this as sacrament or anything, you know, like don't take this too seriously. Okay. So, you know, like, let's see, you know, when you keep in contact with people, it gives you, uh, it gives you a lot of benefits and there's a lot of drawbacks to it as well. Not a lot of drawbacks, but it's like, it's just like with anything, it's a double edged sword, you know, no matter how you go about it. Right. So like keeping track of like your friends and like peers and people you used to know back in the day, it gives you perspective, you know, it could help orient you. If you're like confused in life about what you're supposed to do, having friends can help you like orient you to like, should I have a car at this time in my life? Should I have a house at this time in my life? What kind of like, should I be working this much? It helps you kind of give you perspective. You know, that's, that's the first good thing about like keeping connections with your friends. It gives you perspective of, of like, what you should be doing, you know? Um, so it's like, obviously not everyone's going to be the same scenario, but you'll kind of have a general idea. If you see most of your friends are getting married, you're going to probably think to yourself, oh, maybe I should get married. But uh, marriage is like a whole entire another conversation for me. Or if you see your friends getting like houses or cars and stuff like that, you should probably be thinking to yourself, like, how should I keep up with that? If you don't want to keep up with it, by all means, like I was saying, this is all just personal. This is all just personal. Okay. So that's one thing and second of all you know you ever heard of the term um it's not about uh what you know it's about who you know okay so keeping connections with people could like it could seriously it could open up completely new opportunities in life for you you know so it could be something as simple as like maybe you make a new friend through the friends you've had back in the day right maybe you might even meet uh someone you love through those people right to the point where it might even go to a part where like this might be the reason why you might become rich. It might open up whole entire new career paths for you. Right. So keeping connections is always something that it like it kind of it keeps doors open. It'll keep doors open, whether those doors are good or bad or like kind of like up to the people you're kind of chilling around. Right. Um, these connections, eventually these connections will form into a community. Right. So you'll be able to develop like your own little community with those friends that you meet, because right now. Um, you know, at your age, if you're young and you're watching this video, you probably don't realize, but like, you're gonna have kids one day or something, you know, if you're planning on having kids, you're gonna have kids one day, right? So these keeping these connections will be able to foster a sense of community, right? And it'll give your kids in the future a place where you can comfortably leave them to interact with other children, because these are the connections that you will foster throughout your life. These are people that you trust. Okay. Remember, this is all for personal, like you have to use your own judgment for this, right? So just like I was saying, it's not about who, what you know, it's about who you know. And that also includes, it doesn't matter if you know all the answers of getting money and shit. If all you, if the only people you know are bums, then how are you going to take advantage of that? You know, how are you going to be able to use the knowledge that you have of what you know, if the only people you know are people who aren't able to help you in those circumstances? So just remember, it's not about what you know, it's about who you know. Okay, now let's see. Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you and like there's not always good things when it comes to like keeping in contact with people like it's a double edged sword because you're going to hear good things and you're going to hear bad things. So it's like like I've lost I've lost friends, you know, I've lost friends throughout the years, like after high school, even in like whatever, you know, I've lost friends and shit. Right. So that that like me I don't really keep in contact with people whenever I do get in contact and I'm catching up with them there's always that hey did you hear about such and such or so and so did you hear about what happened and I'm like no I didn't you know because I don't keep in contact right and I'm I personally you know I'm I'm trying to tell you guys to keep contact but I'm not keeping in contact with people well I'm just saying like 
Like I want to start keeping, I want to develop my own like community type thing, you know? So, but like the double-edged sword aspect of it is, um, so you hear good news. You might hear good things about, Hey, this person got married or this person has a kid now, or did you hear this guy is now like doing really good for himself? There's that, there's a good aspect of, you know, keeping up with friends. And, but the thing is life is a, um, life is a tragedy, bro. People are going to die. You're going to lose people in your life. Right? So you're going to have to like accept that with those connections that are going to be, you're going to be trying to maintain and connect with people. You have to understand that loss is a part of life. It's going to happen eventually with those connections. It's going to happen. Right. Um, yeah, it's just, it's painful. You know, friends, friends you laughed with leaving is, is always painful. You know, <sighs> man, friends, you know, they can bring out the best, they can bring the best and the worst out of you you know so good friends can give you good habits bad friends can give you bad habits you know for example right a good friend right good habit might tell you hey let's go to the gym just like my buddy that we met today you know we caught up after like months we haven't talked in months it's not years but we haven't talked in months so we're like talking and then it's just like yo man we should work out together sometime right that is a good habit you know then you have other friends that you're gonna try that'll that you'll make and they come with bad habits Friends and habits go hand in hand, just like trains and tracks, you know, your friends are like a train and then their habits are like the tracks, whatever you can, you're a conductor, you're just on the train. You can maybe tell them, you know, switch over the tracks, whatever, but technically it's a train. You're not a fucking conductor. You don't know how to fucking help people and like analyze their lives because you're just a friend, you know, but you want the, if you want the best for them, that's still going to be, it's going to be a type of pain you're going to have to deal with. Like I was saying before, you know, the double-edged sword, but, um, you know, you're going to have to like foster good, good friends who have good habits and either that or you're going to have to be the one to put habits, uh, like bring habits into your friend group, like good habits, you know, like, yo, let's go for a morning walk, you know, shit like that. Right. Um, yeah, bro. It's like, you have to, you should, you should always, you shouldn't be, let's see if you keep in contact with people in unfortunate circumstances out of pity or nostalgia, you know, without planning to help them or at least, you know, encourage them, then you're showing fake love. By the way, that's the song of the day, Drake fake love, but you're showing fake love. You know, if you are just standing by and your friends are all doing fucked up shit and you're just, you think you're good, you are showing fake love. You're a fake person at that point, you know? So just, just, you know, like, like at the same time, you should curate and coordinate. And at the same time, you should also help people concentrate on the right things. You know, and you should curate and coordinate the people around you. And you should also help them concentrate on what you guys all want to aim for. OK, um, you know, it's like it's like at the end of the day, yeah, it's a double edged sword. And I'm I'm like on the side where. Like, I've kind of lost connection with a lot of people. I'm not really keeping in contact with that many people, but I'm trying. I'm trying, okay? So, you know, fuck, I'm, just, I'm just making this video just to kind of, like, tell, like, my own circumstances of shit like this. I honestly, yeah, this is a, yeah, you know, like, keep being, you know, sure, the pain of, like, losing people is hard. And, like, even getting betrayed and all that shit, that's hard. But... It's lonely if you don't have any, like, people in your life, you know? Like, you can avoid, like, betrayal and pain and all that shit, but it's lonely. Trust me, it's lonely, okay? Um, I'm not saying, you know, you gotta, like, hang out with losers. If th that, like, I'm not saying if that's your only option, by all means, you know, just keep doing your thing. Find, like, an online community. That's the, mo that's the wonders of modern, you know, modern society and shit, right? But I'm not telling you to hang out with losers. I'm just saying... The keep in contact with people from your past, whether it's superficial, you just follow them on Facebook or just talk to them. But like you, those people are important because they help you see like, oh, like whether the good or bad outcomes of your life, what possibly could have been. But you should also keep in good contact with friends and family. Well, family. Yeah. Friends and family. If they're good people, you should always keep in contact with them, you know, and not like not like every hour on the hour like updates and shit but like every once in a while just you know you have a friend you haven't talked to in like a week or two give them a call see what they're up to you know if if you have like if you have people you, you want to like see what they're up to and what they're doing just make sure the people around you are all right you know just make sure that you're doing good you know so you know don't be that guy okay don't be that that don't be that fake guy that lonely guy that whatever guy don't be that guy okay you know, 
Well, that was day five. All right. And I hope everything is all, all is right with you, you know. Hope you're fighting the good fight. And until later, okay? Later, baiters. <laughs>